Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, you're in the right place. You're here for another one, another sign QC video. It just doesn't flow like Mommy and the Littles. But anyways, I'm here to do another video and this one is going to be really good, really quick, and it's one of you guys' favorite things, and that is hauls. So today I have on my spring wear, put on one of my nice spring dresses and a cute little cardigan, and I'm in the girls' room because we're filming, as you guys have already seen from the title. This is a baby spring haul. Somebody's gonna say, why don't you do Tiana and Taylor's together? Um, and that's because I still have some things to get for Tiana. Um, Taylor has it a little bit easier. She gets a lot of hand-me-downs, as bad as that may sound. She gets, gets a lot of Tiana's old clothes, so it's easier for me to shop for her because I'm getting more like filler pieces, whereas Tiana needs like a full spring and summer wardrobe when I go shopping, and that takes me to go to a couple different stores and pick up things. Um, but I will do Tiana's, and another reason why I did them separately, hi Taylor, look, Taylor's just like hanging all around. Um, another reason why I did them separately is if you have a baby, you wanna see baby clothes. If you have a preschooler, you wanna see preschoolers clothes. Just like if I'm a woman, I wanna see women clothes, not man clothes. So this is a baby girl spring haul she's like doing stuff there you go give me those so anyways I'm gonna start off with these skirts I got I got these actually from Kroger and I just thought they were really cute um, and they just are like tool skirts and they are they worse they were $6.97 I got these recently so I thought they were really cute and I got both of them in um, 18 months and that's because Taylor has a long torso and short legs so things like skirts I usually buy it on her like one size but typically everything I buy is 2T but I did get these skirts in 18 months and I got her this pink color and I also got her these really 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 pretty mint color so I got her both of these little tulle skirts which are really cute for spring and sometimes like I guess I've told you in the past I don't do spring shopping and then summer shopping I buy things for the spring and that's what they wait for the spring and summer I buy things for the the fall that's what they wear for the fall and the winter um, what I will do with these in the spring if it's still a little cool I will just put leggings underneath them and then when it gets really hot outside just take the leggings off so I got the girls actually a bunch of shorts from quite a few different places so I'm gonna just say where I got them from okay so I got these shorts with the girls this is just Taylor baby <laughs> I got Taylor these size 2t um, these are 24 month actually these 24 month shorts and they just have this really really pretty um, detailing at the bottom I thought was really cute and they're just soft cotton shorts and because Taylor and the thing is even when you're shopping for your kids kind of similar to you shopping for yourself you really need to look at like their body type so Taylor has like a really big round belly so I always try and get her things that are gonna be comfortable on her waist and they'll sit really pretty on her um, and that's so if you think about like like I got one pair of these jeans so these jean shorts came from Sears also um, and I got these but see I wouldn't get a lot of pair of these because they may not be comfortable they do have a, a little bit of give and they do have the um, elastic bands in there to give you a little bit more room um, but sometimes when you loosen the bands up they'll just fall down too much so I like to just stick with the elastic bands. so I try not to buy too many pair of pants like this and to try and focus more on pants like this for Taylor because it fits better with her body type whereas Tiana is more lean so we can do more like jeans and buttons and stuff from Walmart I know these they're like all mixed up so from Walmart I picked up these really cute shorts and they also I think this is like really on trend this year to have like the detailing at the bottom I mean I guess it's always been on trend but I saw that a lot at Target and I saw a lot at Walmart um, so I got her these shorts they just are elastic waistband they are in the size 2t and they just have this little pink um, detailing on the side and the trim of the shorts and it's just a really pretty floral mitt pattern so I thought this was very cute um, definitely on trend as if one-year-olds need to be on trend um, I also got these shorts um, I just got these because they were there and they're really cute for I guess Memorial Day and 4th of July and that's just these stars um, shorts. I mean, I guess you could wear them anytime, but I guess typically we, I would think of this to be worn on Memorial Day or 4th of July, but they could be worn with a white t-shirt or if you're going to do something more festive. I also got her this red and white striped top, um, so I thought that was really cute together. But these are in the size 24 a month and they're just a stretchy waistband. And I kind of like that the stars are very small because kind of far away it just looks like a blue and white pattern, but up close if you see it, 
girl she just like I'm out so next up I did not actually buy these Devin picked these out but I still thought they were really cute they also came from Sears um, they do have the button in the front but it's not a real button um, and I do see in the back that it has the elastic band elastic band these actually look like a really nice pair of beach shorts but they're actually not beach shorts they're actually real like canvas material shorts but they're actually really really cute and they won't sell for $7.97 and we got them in the size 24 month so generally if anybody asks me what size Taylor wear I would say a 24 month or 18 month and if you had to she probably could fit a uh, uh, no 24 or 2T if she had to she probably could go into an 18 month but typically um, she's about 25 pounds she's not that tall she's kind of on the short side I think um, but she wears a 24 to 2T kind of range um, similar to the blue and white star stripe shorts, I just got her this red and white pair, which looks really cute, really comfortable. Um, has the same soft elastic band, and these came from Sears as well. And this, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So this is a skirt. Shorts in the back, skirt in the front. When is the last time you've seen a skirt? Like I, it's so funny because this exact style I remember wearing growing up. And because Taylor's like a little bit of like a tomboy, uh, I thought this would be really cute for her, but I only saw one. I just thought this was just so like nostalgic for me. It's a skirt, and it's like like a, a genuine skirt, not like a, a skirt with the shorts underneath. It's like a lift the flap up skirt. Like, do you guys remember this? Comment down below if you used to wear skirts. I did. This is another, I think this is what I bought this to go with that, um, the star print um, shorts. But this is really cute. It's just um, a speckle of star paint. It's red and blue, red, white, and blue. It's 24 months also, and it came from Sears. I also picked her up these tops from Walmart. You guys know I love the Granables line because it's inexpensive and it's cute and it's very age appropriate. One thing I'm starting to notice sometimes with certain black brands for little girls, not so much Taylor's age, but more of Tiana's age, that things are just not age appropriate. It's like you're five. Like why do you wear the same type of clothes that um, a 25 year old wear um, in little version? But this things at Walmart and Target's Cat and Jack line, I can definitely say, are very age appropriate. So I got her this little peplum style top. It's orange and white, and I think it's really cute. And like I said, because Taylor has a big belly, I like to get her things that are flowy. <laughs> I got this same style in the peplum, and this one has the stripes, and it has a little bit of lace detailing on the back. But this one was actually um, also a 2T, and I got it from Walmart as well, from the Granables line. I also got this top. Now, this top is kind of like ugly cute, if you guys know what I mean. Like, I thought it was really cute but it's like ugly but we're going on vacation this year I thought this was just like such a cute like vacation type top and it's actually like a satiny silk type material and it has like little chiffon sleeves but I just think like once I put it on her like I wouldn't wear it but on her it'll look really cute especially paired with something like um like the little jean shorts or even the little mint skirt. I just think it's gonna be really cute on her and so girly and just so age appropriate, which is the number one most important thing to me. Then I went to Old Navy yesterday and they had a 40% off sale and I got her this little peplum top. It's in 18 to 24 months. I think the cut is so cute. I am a little worried about how wide the neckline is, but I thought for the price, it was just really cute. And as you guys can see, I love things that are girly, that are pink, that are floral, because I just think little girls should look like little girls. Um, I also got her some of their graphic tees, which we got, we all know all the time. And this one just says, start living your dreams. And I just thought that one was really cute. Um, one thing I can say about Old Navy's graphic tees is they don't last. They wear out, I mean, mine do. Mind you, whenever I buy, I've been buying them for the girls for years. They don't last, but they're cheap, so I don't really mind. But when I start washing them, they get faded, the necks get stretched out, the arms, everything. I just, their graphic tees are not high quality. But if you really want a high quality graphic tee, uh, go to Target. I think their Cat and Jack graphic tees are a little bit more high quality, but I still buy the Old Navy ones because they're really cute, but I buy them in a moderation. Um, so I also got Taylor this one, and it says I have the best family ever. I thought that was really cute. And this one is in 18 to 20 month, 24 months also. Um, graphic tees aren't high quality, but their clothes are. Like all of the clothes that I have for, for Tiana, she wore them all summer. I washed them 105 times, and now they're going down to Taylor, and they're still, they still look like brand new. So I will say Old Navy's clothes for little kids are very, very high quality to me. 
Um, so this top I got for Taylor, I just thought it was really pretty. Um, it has like this little ruffle detail that pops out on the side. It has like a V in the back. So I just thought this was so, so cute. So stinking cute. And like I said, and last but not least, I bought her and Tiana these matching dresses. I love Old Navy swing dresses. They are so flowy and so pretty. So this is the back that just has like this a low cut in the front and the back and then it just has a little higher neckline in the front it's really flowy and pretty and I actually bought Tiana and Taylor matching ones um, and I will say that those are high quality too I buy them all the time they usually have the exact same style dress in long sleeve in the one last thing that I forgot to show you guys and that was the spring shoes that I got her and I wanted to show you guys really quickly um, and she has already started wearing this pair, but oh, they still look new. Anyways, I got this pair from Ross. These were actually $4.99, so I thought these were really cute. I got this pair, and I also got this pair from Ross, and they were the black pair. And these ones don't have Velcro, they just kind of pull on, so I like these ones a little bit better. And I also got her these. You guys are going to be like, Quita, you're like hyperly girly. Yes, I am. Oh my god. Oh my god, do you guys see that? Like, let me show you that. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? Do you see that rose gold glitter? Like, why does she need this? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I got these from Ross too. They were actually $12.99. They're just so stinking cute and I will find a reason for her to need these. I love them. I love, 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 love these. These are so cute. We are really excited. So you guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to comment on it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And guess what? I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.